So here's a new Leica camera. So hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Antonio Di Benedetto. I'm a product specialist from Leica Camera USA. And uh, so this is a very hotly anticipated camera, right? Yes. So this is S3? Yes, the Leica S3. So it has a new high megapixel? Yes, just announced at Photokina 2018. Uh, this is the new S3, which will be coming out. And it has 64 megapixels, uh, medium format, 30 by 45 millimeter sensor. So the one you had before was from 2015, right? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. we, the pr previous model, the S-Type 007, uh, this will replace, this, replace that when it is released. And uh, that was a 30... 37.5 megapixels. 37.5? Yes. You're jumping to 64 megapixel? Correct, yes. Uh, which is a big deal? Yes. Uh, like uh, fashion photographers, uh, what, what, all kinds of... Yeah, I mean, all kinds of applications. So the, the concept of the S system from the beginning was that it was conceived in the digital world. It was thought of as this is... We don't have an, an analog medium format system that we have to adapt to digital. So it's a matter of, you know, from the ground up for digital, they decided on the 30 by 45 millimeter uh, sensor size, the perfect balance of performance and image quality in medium format with that medium format look uh, while still being portable. So it can be really for all kinds of applications because it's a camera that is medium format performance and image quality, but it handles more like a full frame DSLR. Uh, so it's more portable, it's weather sealed, you can get this soaking wet and it'll just keep on going. Weather sealed? Yes. Uh, but so you, you wouldn't want to go swimming with this. No, maybe it not seems, take it for uh, a swim. It's but not, I mean, well, it's you not, don't want to risk water, breaking it. Right, it's not like waterproof. Even, rain. Right. Oh, even heavy rain, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not waterproof, but uh, it's very well, well sealed against uh, splashes, dust, uh, from, you know, from the front of the lens to the back of the camera, from the bottom to the top. Um, the lenses also have what we call an Aquadura coating. Uh, so water just runs right off of it. Uh, it's yeah, really, really durable. So, uh, are people using this for any kind of like sports photography or not? Not really. Um, it can be used in certain applications. Maybe uh, you know you can capture action with it. It's fast enough to you know do action uh, for medium format. It shoots three frames per second. Uh, and even in the new model where we've upped the resolution to 64 megapixels, we still maintain a fast frame rate of three frames per second. Uh, we have not made any sacrifices with this new sensor. And uh, let's, let's look around. So um, uh, what do you have here? So on the back, we have uh, very streamlined controls. And you find this on the S and also this kind of trickle down onto the SL model as well. So the concept is you have four customizable buttons. And here, you know, by default, they each have a, a push and a and a push to push and hold function. Um, so, you know, oh, sorry, I'm wake up the camera. Can we power it on? Um, so, <laughs> like for example, if I push here, it'll bring me to the camera menu. Uh, or if I push and hold that same button, I get ISO. So the push and hold function can be customized on each button. So you can really make it your own. But it's overall very intuitive and very easy to get into. Not a million buttons everywhere, because. Uh, the idea of really all of our cameras is that the handling is, is just as important as image quality and performance. So you should be able, the camera sometimes is just best that it kind of gets out of the way and allows you to focus on your subjects and your photography. So um, uh, let's look around uh, again. So what do you have up here? Is it a, a memory LCD display? Yeah, so we have sunlight uh, readable. Uh, yeah, LCD display that, that is uh, readable in direct sunlight or in darkness. It's also back, uh, backlit. Um, we have our, our, our dials for uh, shutter speed and aperture, uh, and also if you push in the, the thumb wheel, you see that you can change your, your exposure mode through that very easily. Uh, video uh, button for uh, record, uh, opening, flipping up the mirror to, to go into live view, and then video recording button. Um, and you have a nice diopter here with click stops. I don't know if you can hear it clicking. Yeah. Um, so really big viewfinder, optical viewfinder. Uh, really easy to look through, really great for even if you have glasses. Um, you can see it's kind of, it stands off of the, uh, the body uh, a, a, good, a good amount. So when you put your eye to it, you don't you not feel like you're jammed up against the LCD on the back. But really great for even High if High resolution you have, EVF? It's OVF. Op o so this is, a, this is a DSLR. And so that means that you have a, a true optical viewfinder. Um, while uh, many cameras are now going mirrorless with medium format, uh, there are still many advantages to a DSLR, of course, such as very, very long battery life, um, less 
worry in terms of uh, overheating because you're not running the sensor constantly. Uh, you know, so that that helps with signal to noise ratio. Um, you know, overall performance of an SLR uh, can be very advantageous for this kind of uh, segment. Can you live view on the display? Yes, of course. Just press this button right here, and you can get live view. Uh, Is this a, does this display flip out or no? It's it's, fixed, uh, right? it's it's fixed. So uh, how does this dis uh, design, uh, up how is it upgraded compared to the last version? So physical design and style and handling is very similar to the previous model, but with the new sensor um, and new imaging performance, uh, we also have new video quality too, a new video function. So the previous model, the S-Type007, brought in video recording. Uh, now we have video recording that's even further augmented. So. Last model, you could record 1080 on the full medium format sensor, and if you wanted to do 4K, you had to crop to Super 35. Still good, but you lost a little bit of the look of medium format in the crop. Now, with the S3, we will maintain full sensor readout for uh, 4K video. So you can get the medium format look and depth even in 4K video. Can we go in the menu and look at the video settings? So is it 4K 24? Let's take a look. Go to image. Oh, hang on. So, um, video resolution, yeah, 4K is at 24. So it's full medium format 4K, cinema 4K. Correct. Uh, so that's uh, that's exciting for some markets. Yeah, definitely. They're looking for uh, getting very high, very high quality video. Yes, absolutely. And it's it's important to have uh, a dual function camera, you know, for stills and video. And speaking of dual, this, this camera also has another uh, attribute that has been with the, the S system since the beginning, and that's its dual shutter function. So you see over here, the on-off selector, you go from off to FPS, which is the focal plane shutter function, and then CS, which is central shutter. Now, the lens I have on here is not a CS lens, but we offer six different CS lenses where you'll actually be able to use a leaf shutter in the lens uh, for uh, faster flash sync. Faster what? Flash sync. Flash for, for when using sync. Studio Flash, you can yeah. sync up to a thousandth of a second. Uh, really helpful for uh, you know studio environments uh, when you need to you know sync at high speeds. Do you have many uh, fashion photographers using your medium formats? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's it can do really great things with fashion, but again, because of its robustness and its ruggedness, you can take it out of the studio. It can be a great field camera. Uh, it can be a great landscape camera. Um, you name it. It can really do just about anything. You know that maybe in a lot of cases medium format cameras would would have trouble with because it's you know so rugged. Photo journalism, possibly yeah. I mean it, it really is up to the user. Um, but you know it, it, the, for the uh, especially like let's say uh, environmental portraiture, where it's kind of in that photojournalistic style, the reportage style, uh, absolutely. You know. So the the best portraits are taken on this. Absolutely yeah. The, uh, this lens it's in particular for this is a 100 millimeter f2 Summicron S lens. Uh, yes, this is a capable of amazing portraiture. Amazing portraiture with a very smooth bokeh. Yes, so you really get that nice medium format look with that amazing sharpness, even wide open. Our lenses, like the lenses across the board, are known for their, their wide open performance, and here is no exception. Uh, these, these lenses are incredible, incredibly sharp wide open. Um, I, I always say that you know you, you only need to stop down if you need more depth of field. There's no need to stop down for more sharpness. Uh, nice. But once you, you have that tack sharpness on, say, the eyes, uh, mm -hmm. the fall off right behind is, is beautiful because it has that medium format depth. And you have many other lenses, right? Yes. So we have, uh, uh, like everything from as wide as uh, equivalent of an 18 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Uh, to as, as long as uh, equivalent of, I want to say, 135. Basically, we have as, as wide as a 24 millimeter to a 180 millimeter. But you know, if you convert it, it's times 0.8 if you want to talk like 35 full, uh, full format uh, uh, equivalents. So this is very high-end uh, professional pricing also, right? So yeah, what kind so, of price do you have? Well, we haven't released the pricing yet. Uh, so I, I, I can't say, uh, but that will be announced at a later time. The, the, uh, the last generation the is how much? The last generation currently, I believe, is, well, I know U.S. pricing, so my apologies. Yeah. Uh, I believe currently is selling for uh, 20,000 U.S. Uh, for the S-Type 007. Uh, that may have varied at times, so please don't quote me on that. But yeah. And the lens is? Lenses, again, knowing U.S. Yeah. pricing, uh, typically range, I want to say starting at 4,000 uh, up to 11 or 12,000. 
give this or take. This would be a high-end one, right? This one. Yeah, this is. I think. I believe this might be the the highest the highest end of a, of our of our S lineup of lenses. Nice. Uh, is there any kind of stabilization? Uh, no, there is not. Not also not in the lens, right? No, we do not have uh, uh, stabilized lenses. But uh, we have all prime lenses, and then we have one zoom lens. And autofocus? Yes, all autofocus. Everything yes, autofocus. Yes, yes, yes. Very fast. Yes, very quick. Very precise. Yep, absolutely. But then people can use it on a gimbal, I guess, if they want to do videos. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of options via video with setting it up in a, as a rig. Um, you know, you, you name it. You have outputs for uh, for your your audio and, and everything you, you would need. Uh, we anticipate uh, a spring 2019 uh, shipping date. Great.